Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today with a Cambridge Compact CR. I'm assuming CR stands for Cross Reference Bible. This one happens to be in English Moroccan leather, which you don't see that a lot. A lot of times it's Persian Morocco or just a generic Morocco that normally comes from France or Northern Italy or even Spain, uh, sometimes from Morocco. But this is a great Bible. Now, it's not real flexible uh, Moroccan leather. Great size. Now, a lot of people, for a small Cambridge, it's between this and the Pitt Minion, a lot of people like this one for various reasons, and we're going to show you why. Now, one thing I like, let's see if I can still do this, is it actually fits in your pocket. So let's take a look on the inside of this. Yep, English hand-grained Morocco, also leather-lined. Tremendous gold. You know, Cambridge is going to make, there's that debate who's making the world's finest Bible. Cambridge is going to be right up in the mix. Many people think the Cambridge Concord is the finest Bible currently made. It's going to have the pages that keep the spine together. Never try to rip open these pages when you see them because they're, they're meant to be to help the spine stay together. Compact CR, uh, India paper, bold references. We'll show you that. And it's, it's a readable Bible. Now, one thing it's got that the uh, ruby text, I think it is. No, the emerald text, excuse me. Also has, well, it's not exactly like this. It, this has a pronunciation guide. Like how to pronounce words in the Bible. And that's kind of nice to have. So you can see that. Now let's get into what the Bible looks like. It tells you how to use the bold figure references here. And it's a good size print. I'm going to guess it's eight point print. The references are not. I'm going to guess the references are between five and six point print. And it's going to have alternate translations. And the, uh, the references are going to be all in the center column. So it's not muddling up the text itself as you're reading it, you know, with an A here and all that. It's just, you know, two, three, four, and that's what's meant by bold figure, which I really like. Great thick ribbon marker here. Just an excellent ribbon marker. And it also has the headings, the subject headings at the top, none in text. None in text. It doesn't have like book introductions, anything like that. But it's just a very readable text Bible. You can see that it's not red letter. And we're going to see what it's got in the back here in just a moment. Just read your Bible is the biggest thing. But it's got a concordance. And I'm going to tell you, too, I've kind of grown to like Cambridge's concordances. Now, before we get to the concordance, this is what's in the Emerald Text Bible, is this short glossary of words that have changed in meaning since 1611, which I think that's a very valuable tool. I read the King James every day. Some people don't. And even sometimes, you know, when I'll read the Beesum of Destruction, I'll have to think, what is Beesum? Or dregs, drink the dregs, you know. But it is a very accurate translation. It just has some anachronisms in it, or archaic words. Now, I'm saying I've learned to like their concordance in that it kind of, in a sense, sometimes doubles as a Bible dictionary. But... You know, most concordances are straight down. Theirs are more horizontal or linear. And you can fit more in there. And I'm getting, once you get used to it, you can still spot what you're looking for. 
and uh, maybe even quicker than the vertical concordance. And at the back, going to have some just good old Cambridge maps. Show you a sample of a Cambridge map. So gold edging, I got this off eBay. I don't remember. I think it may have been $12.95. It may not have been that much. It may have been $10.95. But uh, if you can find one of these, I'd definitely get it, especially English hand grain Moroccan leather. I think this is copyrighted in the 1960s. Let's see if it says printed in Great Britain. And it, in fact, does not say. Somehow I got this was from the 1960s. They may have said it in the selling thing, but I don't know how they would have known unless that's when they bought it and when they purchased it. So great Bible. It's kind of like a Concord reference, just smaller and has the great referencing system. Tremendous readable print in there. It's not the best I've ever seen this small, but it's extremely good. Not red lettered, which probably helps in a small Bible like this. Power packed with concordance, self pronunciation guide, archaic words defined, map, great ribbon marker. God bless. Talk with you later. Keep praying and reading that word in Jesus' name.